I have a question for you all. How many of you that believe they can draw? All right, I can, that's interesting. I can see around three or four percent all they raise up their hands. If you paid attention to my question, I asked you how many of you believe they can draw. I didn't ask how many of you can or can draw. Because drawing is a matter of belief rather than a matter of can or can't. Uh, drawing basically is about learning a certain sequence. And with the practicing and coping, eventually you'll find yourself able to draw your own ideas and imagination. And today I would like to prove to you that everybody can draw. As you can see, you, uh, all of you have pieces of papers in front of you and pens. And I would like to ask you to hold your pen because you are about to draw together. Now, we are not going to draw things like Michelangelo's painting or the Mona Lisa. But wouldn't be cool if we can all draw something pretty simple but amazing enough to make you feel you are able to draw? So, I'm going to do the next. But first, I need three things from you before we draw. I need you to believe in yourself, keep an open mind, and enjoy. First, I'm going to draw. You, you, you just observe first. Then, I'm going to draw step by step and you can all follow. The thing I'm about to draw, it's a cartoon character that I guess most of you know about it. It's pretty famous. So I'm going to start with the eye. Just normal circle. Then, the other eye. Now, usually when I start to draw, I start from the center. Because the way I see it, it's easier for me to get the center first, then get the surroundings. Um, people with amazing imagination, those are just eyes, don't think otherwise. <laughs> then, I'm going to start with the nose. Then you put a line like that, with a big smile. Then the chin. The ear, close to the mouth. The back of the neck. And you do small curve here, then a line like that. Then align until this place, and then you are about to draw the hair. It's pretty simple, right? You up to that? Okay, cool. Now, I need, I need you to draw with me the same thing step by step. And whenever you finish, I need you to put your head up so I can know you finish a certain step, okay? Nice. Let's start together. Nice. Are we ready? Okay. Put the eye first. All right, then I'm going to start with the nose because I don't want to make it awkward again, okay? Start with the nose. The other eye, same as the one before. You draw the eyeballs, normal. You start the line from here with a big smile. You start the chin from the middle of the mouth with a curve like that. And then you put the ear. You draw the back of the neck. You put a curve over here with a line like that. Another line from here above the neck at the ears to the same line. Then you start to draw the hair as a bunch of V's. Now, I need you to hold your drawings up and show everybody. How it feels? Feels amazing, right? Okay. Now, let's go for the other one. All right, thank you. The other one, the other one is pretty much the same. Just a little bit small changes. Start normal. We ready? Are we ready? Okay. Start with the eye, the same eye. The nose is a little bit smaller. The 
the other eye start from here with the eyeballs all right then the mouth is a, is a little bit different from the one before you lean the line like this with a big smile until here then you draw the chin from the middle of the mouth the same one as before you draw the ear then the back of the neck now the hair is a little bit different you're going to to try to draw like a, a series of triangles shaped a circle it goes like this one two three four five six seven until the back of the ears you can draw a necklace here like series of circles to just make it look more good okay now you have learned some you have learned something what you have learned right now is how to follow a certain sequence to improve your drawing what left for you is just to go home what's left for you what's left for you is just to go home and practice about it and the more you practice you'll find yourself able to draw all the Simpson characters and I don't want you only to limit your practicing about drawing the actual characters you can even draw your family or your friends or anyone close to you as a Simpson character and I will prove that to you we are going to draw together a famous person by using Simpson style okay thank you <laughs> okay we're going <laughs> We're going to draw someone, I'm sure all of you can recognize. We're going to start simple, are you ready? Start with the eyes, it's the same like before. And then the nose is a little bit different, bigger and lean it downward, this way. The other eye, right here, the eyeballs. Now, from the middle of the nose, this point, draw a curve like this, and a line right here. All right? You finish it with a series of bees shape or triangles. Then you draw a bunch of lines here. As the one before, you draw the chin. You draw the ears, make it more bigger. And the back of the neck. Now the head, you're going to start from this point, you're going to go around this head until this point. You're going to make a lines here. Then you draw a hair as a wavy hair. Now who is these people? I That's good. Woo! Thank you. I would like to share a story for, with you. Uh, last holiday, I went to one of my best friends. His name is Rio. We went to Lankawas Island, and it hit me the idea to share what we have shared today with everybody outside there. 
most of them are strangers we're going to meet. So we plan the thing and we plan to meet strangers, so we make them draw and change their point of view about the belief about drawing. So before we start to go with the strangers, I have chosen three of them to share with you, which are more interesting stories I found. First, my friend Ryu asked me to, why don't you start with me first? And then I said, okay, because he told me I love drawing, but drawing is not my thing at all. Then he starts to draw with me, and bear in mind he's a football player. He likes to challenge. I told him, okay, choose whatever you want. He chose Dexter. Dexter is a drawing with more details than what we have drawn today. And he, as you see, he draw the below one, I draw the above one. He felt too happy because he accomplished, accomplished something that he didn't know he's really good at. You can see it down there. He felt too happy, he, he wrote his name beside his drawing. So he even asked me to keep the drawing, he wanted to practice more. I was really happy about it and I let him keep it. The second person I have met is a guy from USA. This guy literally told me, I hate drawing. That hit me very hard because it's art, nobody hates art, like, how come? I calmed down, I did react about it, but basically you can't hate drawing, why? Your left side of your brain consists of the logic, sequence, numbers, while the right side of your brain is in charge of imagination, space, daydreaming, which cutters art, so art is within you, you can't hate it, something inside you. So I asked him, why do you think you hate art? He, he simply told me because I don't know how to draw. Then I got excited because this is the point I'm trying to prove to him. Then I told him, what if I told you today that I can prove to you that everybody can draw? He said, okay, fine. We tried to draw like three times, and this is the third time he drew with me. I drew the up one, and he drew the below one. For someone that hates drawing, this is really good, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. And he told me, like he admitted to me that this is maybe the best thing I, ha I have ever drawn in my life. And he really felt happy about it. He asked me also to keep the paper. And I was more than happy to give him the paper. I almost want to give him my pen, but come on, our student, this expensive one. <laughs> then, then he, I felt so happy because I changed his belief about something. Something he couldn't, he couldn't believe that he can do. While actually now he can practice in it and do it more and more. Now the third person we have met, she's a girl. She's studying psychology. Now this is interesting. Psychology is a deep field. Usually people who study psychology, they, they have an open mind. They care too much about the details. And I wanted to see that reflection on a piece of paper. So I asked her, do you know how to draw? She said, not at all. Then I told her, what if I prove to you that you can draw? She said, okay. And I wanted to make her to draw Einstein, to use her imagination and everything, and if she can recognize it or not. And as you can see the result, there is not even much difference. Yeah. She almost got the same, and even better. And finally, I got what I hoped for, the reflection I was waiting for, which is the details and the open-minded about it, and the imagination. Now, that was a proof that your major, whatever you can do, whatever you're doing right now, you always can draw, you just have to impress it, you have to let it out, practice, believe in yourself. Now I'm going to share a final thought with you, I have shared with everybody I worked with. Putting the drawing aside, how many of us waking up every morning started to walk with beliefs that holding us from doing things we could actually do? How many of us walking with beliefs that limiting our potentials what could be possible for us to do if we challenge those beliefs? I want you to go home and think about it. Thank you.